Tauranga! We're only here for one day. Where's the best places to eat? Oh, love Rosie's Bakery. All right, that's one, but I need three more for an episode. Oh, sweet. Chidori, Johnny's Dumpling House, and Bobby's Fresh Fish Market. We're sorted, let's go. Our first stop, Rosie's Bakery. This is apparently one of the busiest spots to get a good breakfast here in Tauranga. And we've got the chicken wrap, Jazz has got the jalapeno scone, and we've got the quiche right here. About to get in some of this food. We're gonna start off with Jazz's jalapeno and cheese scone. Mm. Nice and fluffy on the inside, a little bit crisp on the outside. Pretty good. Try one of these chicken paninis now. Center's covered in cheese. Sauce and a little bit of lettuce in there and some um, nice chicken. Let's see how that goes. Mm. That's classic cafe breakfast food. Nice and crispy panini. And the chicken's got some nice tomato sauce all over it. And then you get that nice smooth cheese. Yeah, our place is crazy busy. There's lines constantly. Ever since we've arrived here, there's been a line right to the end. I'm gonna get in for a little bit of this quiche. Oh, that's a great quiche. Tastes a little bit sour, tastes like a broccoli quiche. Am I right, is it a broccoli quiche? Broccoli and egg. Just talking to a nice granny a little bit before and she was saying that she's been here for about five years and all the food that she's tried here is on point delicious. The stuff that we just had, it was simple, but it was done perfectly. Nice one, Rosie's. Next off, we're heading off to Tauranga's best ramen spot, Chidori. It's run by two lovely Japanese ladies. It's super busy, so make sure you come early and it's rated 4.9 on Google reviews. And I've got the Paitan Ramen, which for you guys who don't know, Paitan is a clear broth ramen, which is made out of a little bit of pork bones and you've got a hint of seashell flavors as well. Itadakimasu. So let's try this broth out first. The wet has turned sour on us, and so it's gonna be nice to get some hot ramen. It looks really authentic, and it smells delicious. Let's try that out. Oh, very hearty. You can definitely taste that there's a lot of pork that's gone into this, because it's a very, very thick broth. And I can taste a little bit of the hint of the seafood. Let's get a little bit of that noodle now. Ramen itself has a nice bounce to it. Let's get in for a little bit of the chasu. And they have a chaser of the broth here. Excited for this bite. The chasu is super delicious here. It tastes super clean with a nice porky hint coming straight through. It just complements the noodles perfectly. Now let's go in for this egg. This is what I've been waiting for. I mean, check that out. That yolk looks perfect. Now this is an extra topping that you have to pay a little bit for. It's a dollar fifty for a single egg. Well worth it, though, I'm sure. Soak it up with a little bit of broth. Going for that bite. That egg is melting your mouth, creamy. It's got all kinds of deliciousness associated with it. It's creamy. It's buttery. It's slightly salted and it's perfect. Wow, that is amazing. Oh, that has hit the spot. Highly recommend this, the broth, the soup, the noodles, the pork, the eggs, everything was on point and perfect and I just couldn't help but slurp the rest of that soup down, which is actually considered all good in Japan. Just the ride at Johnny's Dumplings, but before we go in... Kyle wants to challenge me at this game! Whoa! <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Playing on the phone, <laughs> All 
Alright guys, the food has just arrived and I'm gonna dig in. In Chinese we would call one of these a ha gao. This looks a lot bigger than the regular ha gaos that I'm used to, but it looks delicious. Let's get in there for a bite. Now that is a quality ha gao. The shrimp just tastes fantastic in there. Super fresh, nice and elasticy. Quality. Alright, let's go in for one of these pork and vegetable dumplings now. They're pan fried. They're pretty huge. Check that out. Get some of the hot chili. Don't know if I can one bite of this. Nah, it should be alright. The meat is a little bit sweet, along with those vegetables. I think the ratio here is like 70% veggies, maybe 30% meat. Really soft on the inside. Got a nice crunch on the outside. That's pretty nice. In Chinese, we call this the siu mai. It is the staple of every single yum cha. They look huge here. It's just a little bit of pork inside. And on top, it looks like they got some carrot. And then it's surrounded by a nice skin. Let's get in for a little bit of chili. Generally, the siu mai that I'm used to, they'll have a little bit of the um, Chinese pork chop or my have some mushrooms inside, but this one felt like it was just straight mints. Lots and lots of pork mints. Not bad. And this is the biggest barbecue pork I've ever seen in my life. That is like the size of my fist right now. Let's see how this looks. Yeah, yeah. It looks like a classic barbecue pork bun to me. Let's give it a try. The inside meat is more gravy-ish, so you're getting a lot of gravy with a little bit of meat, and it's quite sweet. It's not bad as well. Alright, this meal here, Johnny's Dumplings, pretty good. It's quite a unique experience, because you got the whole pub vibe going on, but at the same time, you got Chinese classic food. Definitely come check it out if you're into your drinks and you want some snacks to go with that. On to the next spot. Yo guys, we're at our final stop for today, Bobby's Fresh Fish Market. And if you guys didn't know, my family used to actually own a takeaways back in Auckland. So the sights, the smells, all of that is very familiar to me. We have been to this place before and is definitely one of the busiest fish and ship fish and chip stores that I've ever been to. The line is always packed right out the door and the fish and chips here are delicious. Literally the best. Yes they are. So good. <laughs> There's about a 40 minute wait for our fish and chips to arrive, but where there's a wait, you know there's gonna be some good food at the end of that. Fish and chips was a staple diet, and I think it's a pretty much a staple diet for most people here in New Zealand. You just got some nice greasy chips and some nice greasy fish. Oh man, thick cut fries are just the best. They got this nice golden crispy crunch right on the outside, mm. and then oh. that soft potato on the inside. It reminds me of childhood right now. So good, it's so crispy. And then the potatoes are cut nice and fresh. Oh, this is Kiwi living right here. The fish here is hokey. You don't actually get a choice here at Bobby's, but it doesn't matter because it's super fresh. Oh, I cannot wait to get this bite. This looks so good. It smells super fresh, no fishiness at all. Let's get in there. Perfectly salted, super soft and flaky. Oh man, that is the dinner of champions, guys. Awesome. This place is definitely one of my favorite places to stop in Tauranga. Fish and chips is so good, and they do it perfectly here, Bobby's Fresh Fish Market. Awesome. Yo guys, this has been a fantastic tour of Tauranga. We went to four great places. Rosie's, Bobby's Fish and Chip, Johnny's, Dumplings, and Chidori. My belly's feeling good right now, full of deliciousness. And we're about to head back to Auckland. Gotta say big shout out to Kawa, who hooked us up with a bit of accommodation at that fancy place. Nice one there, Wa. And then uh, if you guys like what you saw, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. We're gonna catch you guys on the next episode.